Hello everyone! Right now we are in this wonderful place again in Antalya province and this area is called Olympus. So in this video we will be showing you what to see here, where we are staying and don't forget that just a couple of days ago we were traveling in Cash, which is another district here in Antalya and we will be showing you how to come here to Olympus from Cash. So hopefully you will enjoy this video and don't miss it out. We took a bus from Akash to Antalya bus station. The ticket was 28 Turkish Liras and it was a 3 hour trip. But the outstanding and scenic views along the Mediterranean coast will make it feel shorter. Here we'll exchange to another minibus which will take the passengers directly to the main area where all the accommodations are. We have finally arrived to this other minibus station and here we have to transfer to another bus to take us to Olympus area. If you are coming from Antalya main, main part uh, or either cash as we did, you must transfer in this, in this part and don't worry because this place is very easy to find. The bus will automatically drop you off here and in this same place you have to transfer. If, we will see how, how is the area and we will show you around. The minibus costs 7.50 liras and takes about 15 minutes to arrive to the main area of Olympus. It will pass through all the pensions in the area and will leave everyone right at the door of their booked places. There are many pensions, bungalows and tree houses to choose from. In our case, we chose one of the closest ones to the entrance of the ancient city of Olympus and the beach. We paid only 350 liras per night for a bungalow which had a comfortable bed, air conditioning and a private toilet and shower. It's a complex of more than 25 bungalows and also tree houses are available, but with a shared shower and toilet. A Turkish breakfast is also included and starts at 8.30. Also, dinner is fully included, which was a relief for us, because in the area there aren't many options for other restaurants or markets for groceries. The ticket fee to the ancient city was 30 liras and the Turkey Museum Pass is accepted. I'll give you an important tip for this place, since the ancient city must be passed first to reach the beach and if you don't have the Museum Pass and you are staying for two days or more, then we recommend you getting a ticket which includes about 10 entries and it's way cheaper. To arrange it, ask directly to your accommodation and they'll guide you on how to get it. Olympus was founded in the 3rd century BC and was a member of the Lycian Union. It was a trading city, but after falling in the hands of pirates who frightened the Mediterranean people for a long time that even the city was known as the City of Pirates, it was saved by the Romans and turned into a Roman settlement afterwards.
Besides its historical importance as an archaeological site, Olympos is also a natural conservation area and home to many natural wonders. Walk through the dense bushes and vegetation and discover the hidden ruins spread over the two sides of the river that form this valley. If you are looking for an untouched gem free of huge and luxury resorts to just immerse in the wonders of nature, then this is the perfect place for you. For sure you will get rid of the whole year tiredness in this peaceful environment. No facilities such as toilets, showers, changing rooms, umbrellas, or sun beds are available. The beach only belongs to nature. The main beach area will be more crowded, but if you want to find a nice spot, then turn right and walk through the rocks you'll find plenty of empty spots with nice shadows from the vegetation and trees and just a couple of steps away from the sea. You can also walk about 20 minutes along the seaside from Olympos to Chiralu, which is another beach and a sandy one. This area is also famous for its loggerhead sea turtle. Along the seaside, we can find protected turtle nests. A tip from us is that if you decide to stay in Olympos, take enough cash with you, since there are no ATMs at all. Suluada is an uninhabited island that can be reached with a tour from Adrasan, just 20 minutes away by bus from Olympos or Chiralu. People can also rent a fishing boat instead and can arrange the price with the locals. In our case, we decided to go with an organized tour. We paid for the tour 120 Turkish Liras and we arranged it at one tour agency next to our accommodation in Olympos. The food was also included. Suluada is an island which is well known for its sandy beaches surrounded by crystalline water and for that it has also received the name of Adrasan's Maldives. After swimming in Suluada and having our lunch, 
the tour took us to many other places nearby to swim and admire the natural beauty of the area. Yanartaş in Turkish or the Eternal Flames are located in the Mount Chimera near Chiralu and Olympus. It's a natural phenomenon where about a dozen flames issue from a mass of rock. A type of methane gas has been venting from Earth on this rocky slope for thousands of years. It's suggested that this place is an inspiration for the fire-breathing chimera in Homer's Iliad. We took a 3-hour tour for only 40 liras and the shuttle service picked us up from our place by 9 p.m. Our days in Olympo, Antalya have already finished and let me tell you what, that we, we really enjoyed this place. Even though there is not much to see around except like the ruins and the beach and everything, we really had a great time. If you are looking for a get for a getaway where you can just go and relax with your family, with your friends or even alone, this is a great area to come and enjoy. The natural beauty is outstanding and I highly recommend it. It's very affordable as well. Um, of course, don't expect in this area to have a lot of big hotels and a lot of uh, amenities and so on. No, in this area you will find it will be like kind of different type of holiday. But it's good to experience this kind of new things if you haven't. You will mostly find, uh, for example, pensions or tree houses, bungalows, which is really interesting. Uh, hopefully you have liked this video and right now we are going to our last destination which is the main city or the main district of Antalya and don't forget that if you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations from Istanbul and Turkey in general then don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you next time bye bye